this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I colour hair. Um, there are many different ways to do this in Procreate, but I'm going to show you my method, which I think is relatively easy to pick up. So for the sake of simplicity, I've already set up some colour palettes. So I'm going to show you how to do red hair, which is the top row of colours, and also how to do blonde hair. So the main thing when it comes to colouring hair is you need to choose a dark base colour. So for red, I've got almost a plum as my base colour, a deep plum colour. So I'm going to start by just doing my base. So for this, I'm going to use the, where is it? The airbrushing, hard airbrush pen or brush. Um, the size doesn't really matter, kind of do what you want here, but the main thing is that we're having a nice big block background, as you can see here. Now what we need to do is select the next colouring line, which is the slightly lighter colour, and I'm going to switch the tool that I'm using. And I'm going to choose the inking category, technical pen, and I'm just gonna, yeah, brush size about 43% is good. Um, I'm just gonna do line strokes on top of this. So this doesn't need to be neat by any stretch. So go a bit wild but the main thing is that the lines all follow the same direction you don't want any like squiggly stuff like this going through it um if you're doing straight hair then keep the line straight and again next color in line the slightly lighter shade again and we're going to layer on top of this and we're going to do those same lines again but we're not going to go all the way to the edge so same direction but don't take it all the way to the edge of the colour block and same step again for the lightest colour and again layer it but don't go all the way to the edge you want it to come kind of central so there we go that's the first step the next step is to use the smudge tool here and make sure that you've gone to touch ups and selected short hair and changed your brush size maybe to around 65% but play around with this depending on the type of image that you're working on. Um, but for this tutorial I've chosen 65%. So you're going to go from the top end of your block of colour and do single strokes downwards. And keep repeating that over and over and what you will see is that the colours start to merge into one another to give the illusion of light almost hitting that midsection of the hair so giving quite a natural look to everything and if you can try and keep your strokes all going in the same direction because what you don't want to happen is smudge this dark like the dark from from this end, sorry, the dark from this end and this end, you don't want it just going over this nice bright section that we've got here. So if you use the smudge tool, smudge down in the same direction. So there we go, that's red hair. Now if you wanted to add a bit more of a sheen there, you could add a new layer. Um, Maybe pick a slightly lighter shade again. Get your technical pen. Just do a few odd strokes. Grab the smudge tool again, and I, I'm not changing any settings here, but I am doing that same technique of smudging down in the same direction, so towards the bottom of the hair strand. And again, that just 
even though it's not completely realistic looking, it does add a little bit more depth to the red hair that we've done here. Okay, now I'm gonna do the exact same method again, but for blonde hair. So the base for blonde hair is surprisingly quite dark. Um, so I'll just get my block background done first. And I'm going back to inking, technical pen, choosing the slightly lighter shade and doing strokes along the top. Again, yes, you don't need to be neat. It's absolutely fine to just scribble here. And again, choose the lighter shade. Go back over this layer. Don't go all the way to the edge. And choose the lightest colour again to go central. Grab the smudge tool. Smudge in downward strokes. I love blonde hair, it looks so good. Um, yep, keep smudging. Keep smudging until you feel happy with the desired outcome. Don't smudge so much that you lose the subtle lines, but you can see here that this looks quite good. And then again, I'm gonna add a fresh layer and choose a lighter color again. I'm just gonna add some odd light strands through here to add a bit more depth. Try not to go all the way to the edge areas because it's probably not going to be dark there because that would be the hair tips and the hair root where everything tends to be a bit darker. Um, and there we have it, blonde hair. Now, this is me just showing you simply how to do it with natural hair colour, but this does work with any kind of hair colour. Um, so I'll show you a work in progress that I have. This is one of my colouring pages. Uh, it's the Pisces Zodiac page, and I've given her turquoise hair with a slight two-tone gradient. Um, so yeah, it does work even with hair that's not of natural colour. And I'm, I'm gonna go back and just show you how to do that two-tone. I'll use the blonde hair as the example. Um, what colour should we do as it? Two-tone. Maybe a nice, nice lilac colour. So what I would do here is, I'll do a fresh layer just so I can play around with it. Um, I would use a airbrush, but this time a soft airbrush. Just bring that up in size as well. And I'm gonna lower the opacity on it just so I can build the color up gradually. And what I'm gonna do is just color over the ends here. And then come to this layer. Let me just move that a second so you can see what I'm doing. And what you can do is you can play around with the settings here. So you can lower the opacity or go through some of these settings and just see how they look. So linear burn here looks really effective. Colour burn is another favourite, so I really like how that looks. Um, and this one as well, if you go to the colour tab and select colour, that gives a really nice effect as well. So it's not set in stone what you do with these overlay colours, but it definitely does work if you want to give that two-tone effect. And that's it from me. I will post some cheat sheets below that you can download just to help you with this. And if you do like this video, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. This is my first one, so I've got no idea whether it's good. But if it wasn't, then I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, yeah, and check out my shop. It's 
thefoxdesignden.etsy.com where you can find all of my colouring pages to download and test out these tutorials. Talk to you soon. Bye!